Uh, I think that's everything I needed to grab. Uh, boat bell. That's what I need to work. So. Bone mill. In the chest. And then in the modular router. Right? Yeah! This is nice. Alright, so everything should be going where it needs to go. Uh, yeah. Hey, Rigo, what are you up? What, what are you up to today? I spent four hours re reworking our. Um, uh, I don't know where you're at, but I spent four hours reworking our sifting system. Oh, where are you at? I'll come down to you. Downstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This I looks nice. Thank you. So I had to do some research from a friend of mine. Um, I think you know him. He's almost like you. But yeah, taught me how to use modular routers to put power into the, the things, of which we could have done at the beginning. I totally didn't know that. And yeah, so everything here is compacted as much as it can here and right here. So now... So pretty much, yeah. I think... Each in their like own separate one, machines. So yeah, this one... Like which one which. This one just does gravel. This one literally just does gravel. It goes through the things into a, a drawer right here. Uh, which pipes into the sifters, into chests, of which get filtered uh, out with compression. Yeah, compacting upgrades, of which compacts them to their ores, gets sent to... What is it? There's a, an ender chest in there with gray, and then one with red. Red for the stuff that we already have the, the storage stuff for. And then gray for up here, which is the smelting stuff that we showed when we first did the sifting. So it's even more compacted, so less less uh, clutter, more space. And then, you know, we have more furnaces pumping and everything. Pretty much, and, um, yeah. Is this one for sand and this one's dust? Yeah, and this one's... The same processes? This one's sand, so I have two for sand and then one for um, soul sand. And pretty much everyone already knows the, the basis on how they're made. It's just I made them more compact to where they get pulled out of drawers with modular routers into here, compacted, turn into blocks, back into our system, and then this is dust, same process and stuff like that. Yeah, and so, um, in today's video, uh, if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to leave a like, and if you guys have been having a really good day, also leave a like, because why not? Yes. <laughs> and, um, today, I get to be leading the video. Oh, as I wait, said sorry. I forgot one more thing. I completely forgot about this. As you guys as you guys uh, probably saw in Brandon's POV, something's changed. Oh, yeah! yeah I uh, I got bored. I made my own skin. Um, it's supposed I, I, to... It's I forgot to even uh, point this out, but yeah, uh, this is Rigo's new skin. He's been working on it. It's supposed to look good, but it kind of just looks eh, you know? I, it could be better. I like it. It's Thank, tight, you. Thank but, you. But in today's video, uh -huh. <laughs> um, we are going to be doing a little bit of the things that we said in the last video. We're going to be doing all the modium and uh, nether stars. Yay. And I feel like a great spot to just start this off in general is follow me up all the way up to the top, top floor. He literally right? has not told me anything about this. He just straight up said that's what we were doing. He hasn't shown me anything else specific beyond that. So this is going to be genuine surprise to me. So. What, what the? Like, what, what do you like with what I've done to the nether? Um. It's uh nice. It's very heavenly. So. I, there might be something that you have to find in here. Oh, uh, I don't even have my shrink tool out. Hold on. Okay. What do I need to find? This button right here? The one that's like super in my face that I've been seeing for a while now? Mm-hmm, mm hmm What the? Oh, this hurts. This hurts my eyes. Now just go up that elevator. Go up the... Oh, Lord. What is this? <laughs> so this is what all those anti-blocks were for. <laughs> so I figured to match the theme of today's video, stars. And up here, oh. this is just the little main platform. It's a little void. But up here, we're going to be putting the wither killing in this little like sun looking one. Oh. And in the ones around it, we're going to be putting stasis chambers for withers so that we can make ether gas and so 
with that being said, that oh, is my. exactly where we can start going into our next part of this video. Sorry, I'm just stunned and odd. I don't even have to add glow effects to this. This is like really beautiful. I don't know why. Oh yeah, dude. I spend a little, quite a bit of time on this. <laughs> uh, that that explains a lot. That explains why you texted me at three in the morning saying, "Man, this is tiresome." Yeah, just just fair warning. It was like sixty thousand black anti blocks for that. <laughs> well, okay, this is but, dope. God. But now I can actually just get rid of this down here, and yeah. Uh, so follow me back to the uh, overworld. Oh, okay. oh shoot. Okay. You had that all elaborately set up for me, didn't you? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so then what are we what are we starting on first then, since we're doing wither killing? Okay, I... so just because I don't want to make a whole big hassle of having to go back and forth between each dimension, we're going to get into something with the ME system really quick. Oh, it's called work. the ME Quantum Link Chamber and the ME Quantum Ring. So this is, a, this is the way that you can... Um, there might be one thing that we have to do on camera. It's just because it was something new. But besides that, um, what you'll do is you'll take and I like to normally just throw it in the center of the um, ME system. So it's a it's nine by nine. So you'll do boom, 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 boom. Wouldn't it have been better to at, put it like directly in the middle? I would have. Oh, it it can go there. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. OCD. The OCD in me wanted to do that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and so with this, you're going to be able to pipe your, like, applied energistic storage across dimension. The only thing that we do have to do, first of all, it needs to be um, hooked up. So we'll hook it up right there, just using a 32. Wow. And with that, um, the only other thing that we need is inside of here, we're going to need to put, I believe, it's a... Oh, no, Brandon. Um... PTSD, hold on. We need to make one of those. What's it called? The quantum entangled singularity. So this one, you just need to make a singularity. The singularity is a 64k me storage in a matter condenser. So what we're going to do that we're oh, just no. going to do a little bit of off-camera crafting to make a make a 64k. Uh, oh no 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 no. And with when when oh, we get. Oh no. <laughs> Once we get to the point that we can actually make the singularity, we'll come back. Okay. Uh, get All right, and we're back, guys. We got the matter condenser and the 64K ME storage cell. Yes. So what we're going to do, or the, uh, yeah, the storage component, sorry. Um, what we're going to do is connect this matter condenser up to this export bus that we already had preset to piping cobblestone out of our EM, or out of our applied energistic system. We're going to throw the 64K in there, and we're going to change this to condense into singularities. Singularities are 256,000 items. Uh, it's 256,000 items put into one, pretty much. Ugh. And so once this fills up, we'll probably pipe a little bit more cobblestone into this just to make it go a little bit faster. Uh, we'll come back with, with the singularity. And just like that, guys, we have the singularity. And so that was pretty much just... We, it took about, I want to say, two, three minutes. And so what we're going to do with this, the singularity, is we are going to take and make, um, it's the in-world transformations. We're going to combine it with an ender pearl and the singularity and then explode it. I don't know how to spell singularity, apparently. And it's to make this little guy, the quantum entangled singularity. Singularity. It makes two per one singularity, so it helps out a lot. So yeah, it's gonna use Ender Pearl, either tiny T into your big TNT to make your singularities. All right, and honestly, I don't think we can blow up our base. So I, I am I wrong about that? You're probably very wrong. Eh, so be it. All what? right, so tiny TNT, singularity, and Ender Dust. Turn off your magnet, stupid. <clears throat> uh, I was, I was like, oh, I was like, uh. And <laughs> it, it it blew up. But but we got it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about our second floor. Nobody noticed that, you know, that's for later, clearly. So what we're going to be doing is with this quantum entangled singularity, we're going to put that in the quantum link chamber. Mm -hmm. And just like that, this ME system is connected to this quantum ring. So now, if you guys follow, if you all follow me, here we go. And just like that, um, I do believe it will need power. So we will need power. I forgot to put the quantum entangled singularity in there. It does not need power. I'm special. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, and with this, I actually already have the pipes and everything for this, but we can take and from right here, 
we can go oop bop bop and we're gonna do this wow um, but yeah now we have this here and so just like that we are ready to go into the next point of this uh video which is we're gonna kill a wither <laughs> yay and just like that guys we have the soul sand sorry we don't actually keep the soul sand we just uh sift it most of the time so yeah, it's used for a lot of our uh, materials that we need crafted anyway so it, this might be a bad idea i don't think the wither will be able to explode it because it's all claimed but We'll see. You really, you really better hope that this thing doesn't destroy anything. It's not like I didn't spend like six hours on this or anything. It's fine. <laughs> From downtown, guys, watch this shit. I missed. That's fine. Well, and just like that, guys, I believe Rigo got it. I got that it. That is our first Nether Star. Now we just wanted to show you the process of. Obviously, we know how to get a Nether Star, but. We're going to show you the process of getting nitro crystals because <laughs> nitro crystals are one of the components that we need for the all the mods, all the modium ingot. So we're going to need. So that actually leads us into the next part of this video. We're going to be working on the all the modium ingot. So we need a nitro crystal, soul infused ingot, diorum ingot, energetic alloy, flux infused and refined glowstone. There's a couple that I can already mark off because we already have them. It's the flux infused. Um, we obviously just got the nitro crystal and Diorum. It's just a simple crafting recipe of charcoal arcane crystals and Munda per M Munda bitter dust. It's just a combination of the arcane crystal dust and the mob drops. Uh, it's six. Yeah. Three out of the six items on the way to getting the all the body in it. So now, so pretty much where we're going first is we're just going to do the simplest of all of them. Osmium compressor and the refined glowstone ingot. So the osmium Jeez. compressor, it's infused alloy ingots and advanced control, uh, circuits. Actually, we're just going to go and do all the micro crafting for this really quick. So pretty much this is the metallurgic infuser, the metallurgic metallurgic infuser. It, uh, you can take certain items such as redstone, obsidian, gold, I believe a couple of not gold, osmium, gold. diamond. Yeah, there's gold. a couple of different uh, things that can go in here and you use them to make certain items from the uh, mechanism mod. And so the first the first item that we're wanting to make from this uh, metallurgic infuser is the infused alloys. And to do that, you need a block of redstone or the redstone mechanism and an iron ingot. So <laughs> with the iron and the redstone combined, it makes the infused alloys. The science behind it, it's Minecraft. Oh, no. Shut up. And so we're going to go and go ahead and just create. I'm going to go ahead and craft the Osmian compressors. And just like that, guys, we got the Osmian compressor. I just wanted to, I, I don't know, this video seems like it's a little bit all over the place, but I promise I have plans for this video. <laughs> it seems um, on point so far. Uh, we just need Osmium really quick. So we're going to grab the Osmium and we're going to throw it in there. So then after that, just to make the uh, refined glowstone, it is in the Osmium compressor. You just take and put glowstone in there. These are naturally really Ooh. slow. We go and actually put upgrades in this in this one here, just so that you guys know this one. That's why this one works a lot, a lot faster. But uh, just like that, we got refined glowstone ingots. We're actually just going to let this run in the background while we go on to the next part. We're going to get a little bit into Ender IO. I wanted to do a little bit of the basics on this. Ender IO is, I don't know if it's, it used to be a super popular mod when I was younger and played this, played modded Minecraft in general. And so it was super duper popular then. And I am... I'm not like super uh, informed on it. No, he's super in a sense. informed. Guys. I, I I know how to use it. It's just because it's everything in Ender IO has become so outdated compared to all the newer mods that are coming out. Ender IO just doesn't seem as useful. But we have the Ender uh, the alloy smelter here, and oh, yeah. we're probably just gonna take and put this up here as well for now. And so with the Ender IO with Ender IO that you need capacitors. I'm not sure if I threw away all of our capacitors, and I may have. So I did throw away all our capacitors, but. <clears throat> It's just because they were taking up a lot of storage. You can craft capacitors. And so we may have gotten a little bit of ahead of ourselves. I will actually have to make the primitive alloy smelter first to be able to make an alloy so that we can make the capacitor. Oh wait, no, you can make the capacitor right here. I'm stupid. I'm never mind. See, this is why I'm saying that this is my shit's outdated. <laughs> okay, so basic capacitor in there. Rigo put it in there already. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I was quiet the whole time, just like, oh shit, hold on, I'm gonna craft it before him. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be helpful. <laughs> but to make the energetic alloy, it's just redstone, gold, and glowstone. And just like that, we also have the energetic alloys right Yay. here. Yay! So that's two things that we can check off of our list right now. We're gonna go into the Diorum ingot that I had talked about. 
We already have all the stuff for that. The arcane crystals, uh, you smelt an arcane crystal. This was something that we were throwing away previously, and I made sure that we weren't going to be throwing it away anymore because we need it for this month, for this uh, crafting recipe. Ah, this one right here, guys. And so we have the Diorum ingots now, so we can check that off of our list. And so the next thing that we're going to want to make is we're going to get a little bit into thermal foundation or thermal basics uh. or thermal expansion. And so the reason that we're going to be getting into that is for the soul infused ingot, which is made by you can either make the dust. So the soul infused dust and smelt that down to get the ingot, or you can use the thermal series and uh, mix it with Invar, soul sand and appetite. We're just going to make the dust for now. So we just, we have the biggest thing that we're going to need is a pulverizer because we need the dust from soul sand. And the only way to get that is to put soul sand through a pulverizer. So that's what we're going to do now. And pu the pulverizer, it's a super simple crafting recipe. It's just copper gears, redstone flux machine frame and piston and so this mod i definitely didn't get into like as i was saying with ender io this is another one of those mods that it got really it got really outdated as time went on and so it just isn't as used so i didn't i stopped learning them as much especially in newer mod packs and so just like that we do have the pulverizer and so we're just gonna i know it looks ugly for now we'll actually find individual spots for these things here but these ones it's obviously going to take fe and then we just need to make sure that we put, I think you do need gravel for it. So it's kind of like the sag mill from Ender IO. And we got the soul sand. Obviously, as you guys know, we ran into that little bit of an issue a couple of times. That's how you get the soul sand dust. And I also wanted to talk to you guys about the other things that we're going to be needing to get. Uh, appetite is one of them. Uh, there's a couple of ways to get appetite, but we're going to just do it a little bit of a faster way because it will go a little bit faster than the pulverizer. Okay, uh, there is appetite in here, Brandon. Yeah, I just need the ground up appetite and I just didn't want to put it through the pulverizer. So I'm using earth charges instead. That's fair. Okay. So, right. And so we have the appetite dust and the only other thing that we're going to need is invar and invar is just a mixture of iron and nickel. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick and we'll come back when all of that, everything is ready to be put together. Okie dokie guys. And here we go. We got all the items for it. Now we just need to craft the soul infused ingot. And just like that, I believe that is, let me see. I mean, that's, so I think we we're got, missing one more thing. So the only other thing we need to do is the nitro crystal. And so here we go. Do you have the nether star? I thought you had it. And so we'll we'll just come over here and you put the, so to make a nitro crystal, it is, one nether star a block of redstone and yeah so we'll just go ahead and throw this in here in our little automation here oh wow and so it's oh. gonna take a while because it's 20 million fe oh my god so we will we'll probably just have to come back once that's done when this is done and just like that guys that is 16 nitro crystals the one thing about these nitro crystals this will also help us upgrade our power as well that's another this is kind of a double killing I, two I, birds with one stone pretty much yeah this guy <laughs> all the mod all the modium ingot night is a nitro crystal soul infused ingot diorum energetic alloy flux infused and refined glowstone we actually have everything for it then so we're gonna gather all those items back up together and we are going to go ahead and craft and go ahead and craft the all the modium ingot and just like that we're gonna go ahead and throw it all right in here and it's gonna take about 100k that's and crazy that it takes 20 million to get the nitro crystal but 100k to get all the modium and just like that guys it is the first all the modium ingot on the server that means we are like one one hundredth of the way closer to getting that beautiful all the modium star yeah so now to move into the next part um we're gonna be going into industrial foregoing today and there's a lot in industrial foregoing but we're gonna only need a couple of key items from the industrial foregoing and that's the stasis chamber and wither builder so this is the stasis chamber it's using these an advanced machine frame of which we have to use a disassemblation brandon i just realized what you wanted me to get into we have multiple steps for this video guys i kid you not what is going to be and should have been a 20 to 25 minute video is now a whole ass live stream of 
an hour and like 45 minutes. So anyway, let's get right into it, Brandon. First part that we're going to start at, we need latex. Latex is one of the basic pro is one of the one of the base products that you need for this industrial foregoing mod. To get latex, we're going to need a fluid extractor, a block placer, and a latex processing unit. Fluid extractor is where we're going to start. So we're going to make a fluid extractor. That's going to need a pity machine frame. And then we're going to take some logs which we have 72,000 of. This is just gonna be a temporary setup for now, but you're just gonna take and it's gonna go and point towards it. I don't even believe it needs power to work, but power does make it work a little bit faster. So we're gonna go ahead and put a flux point on one of these. I was like, yeah, I think power is just supposed to help it go faster because so it does have It's a time. very grueling process for latex. I will say that. So if you look at this, from one block, we're only getting about six per tick. And so we need, just to get started in this mod pack, at least 32,000 millibuckets. <laughs> oh my and God. so while we're doing that, so we're just gonna let this run for a minute. We're gonna need quite a bit of it. So we're gonna put like a fluid tank next to it. And if you guys don't know what a fluid tank is, it's in the name. We're just gonna put it all in this fluid drawer here. I guess we'll be back when Brandon says we're ready to go on what we need. So we'll be back. Okay guys, and we are almost about to hit the thousand millibucket uh, point. We're going to take and so we're gonna go ahead and pipe the latex out of there and we're gonna put it into the, the uh, latex processing unit. And so then what you're gonna do, and we're just gonna take another flux point and you're gonna let it uh, process with water. And so with that, we'll just take and pipe out of this and that should start making dry yeah, rubber. Yeah, yes, yes it is. And so dry rubber is what we need to make plastic. And plastic is one of the main building blocks in most of the uh, industrial foregoing things. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, you put it in a furnace. Once it cooks, it turns into plastic. There you go, Brandon. And so that was a thousand millibuckets. So to make one piece of plastic, you need a thousand millibuckets. Which so, is one whole bucket, technically. That's why I was saying we'll probably need about 32 plastic. 32,000 millibuckets. And so that might take a little bit of time. So me and Rigo might go do something else and then we'll cut back in when this is a little bit closer. Uh, but one thing that we can go into now, uh, once we get, once the second piece of latex is, or plastic is able to be made, the mob slaughter factory, because- Mob slaughter factory. Yeah, so we're gonna need that second piece of plastic. But after we get that, mob slaughter factory is how you can get uh, pink slime, which is another thing. That Oh yeah, I remember that. And so, pink slime uh, is what you need for the uh, machine frames. And pink slime is what you need for the machine frames. And so the machine frames are what we're going to be using to make the stasis chambers and the wither builder. And the supreme machine frame is the one that we need ether gas for. And you also need the advanced machine frame, which is pink slime and netherite scrap. Uh, and then you also obviously need plastic. And so with all of that, that's how we will be automating our wither killing. We'll be using the wither builder and the stasis chamber. Um, we, want, we won't be fully automating it in this video. We'll just be setting up how the automation will do, and then we'll do it off camera because we still have to set up like a wither skeleton killer and everything like that. We're, we're going to come back when this uh, latex has went up a little bit more and we actually have some dry rubber. Actually, perfect timing to come right back because we can make... <laughs> I, we don't even have to cut. We can make the mob slaughter factory now. Yay. So we're going to go ahead and make the mob slaughter factory. This is how we're going to get pink slime. So pink slime will come from naturally spawning uh, passive mobs. And so to get the pink slime, we're thinking of obviously having like a pig gener a pig spawner. And then we're going to take and have those them spawn in front of this and it will kill them. That's the, that's the basic thought behind it. But any passive mob pretty much will work for the the flu the mob slaughter factory uh, uh, uh no not the animals not the right. uh, animals i want to i want to show you guys that it works so uh it needs power it has a process and then there's a pink slime and meat uh spot and there is a range on them much like any others it's only one block so right in front of it uh we'll uh just go I'm sorry ahead. little one I'm sorry. And just like that, he got turned into pink slime. And per, it's, it's, a, it's, I think it's a, a fluctuates between 100 or 200 pink slime millibuckets per uh, passive mob. But that's, that's how this works. And so we'll have to set up like a, 
a spawner and everything for that. But that's how we'll get pink slime. And uh, and so that's latex and pink slime. Now the other one, it might be a minute because we aren't even... Need so much we, latex! We aren't even nearly like close to it. So um, I just wanted to show you guys the mob slaughter factory because pretty much now... All we're going to be doing is a bunch of off-camera waiting for latex and everything there. So we will come back to you guys once we have quite a bit of the stuff set up. And yeah. Hello, everybody. And we're back. We um, are back. Yes. You might have noticed we got rid of that little messy setup over there. It's gone. Gone forever. We made it so that we don't have to wait for it anymore. Is that and what that if you is come up, here? If you come up here, these are starting to fill up with latex and pink slime. And now I get, I can actually, I can, I'll just go ahead and show you guys how I did that for you. For a tree. If you come down here, this is our little industrial foregoing area. I, I know that industrial foregoing doesn't really need a whole lot. And so this one over here is generating latex. So there's three plus block placers and then the fluid extractors, which we had already talked about. They all have speed upgrades. I went ahead and got the speed upgrades in there. Uh, these mo these block placers are getting filled with wood from this ender chest, this modular router, pushing it in. F and then the fluid pipes are putting it into the ender thing. And over here, we have a mob fan, which is pushing the sheep into the range of the mob slaughter factory. And this one did need a range upgrade because it was too small. It was only a one by one. And so we're deleting the liquid meat. Liquid meat can actually be used to feed yourself, but since we have saturation, there's no point in us keeping it. Um, so the other one that we have is, and this is where the slime, the pink slime is coming from. So it's killing the sheep and putting it in there. And that's, that's about, you're about caught up there. That's about as much as we've done. Uh, th but we should be able to go and get a little bit further yes. into the crafting recipe of what we're wanting to do today. And so the other thing that I also didn't point out in the in the beginning of the video, we do need a fluid laser base drill and that's super easy. It's just an advanced machine frame and plastic pretty much. That's the hardest parts of it. And then we also need the laser drill and that's just going to push um, energy into that fluid laser base. And then it's going to that fluid laser base is going to sit on top of the wither that's been put into the stasis chamber and it's going to drain ether from them and ether is the other uh liquid that we need from industrial foregoing and so for now to get where we're wanting to go i was thinking we can we could start by making the stasis chambers so the stasis chambers are um advanced machine frames soul sand gas or gas tears gold gears and pistons so we'll go ahead and craft that and we'll be right back. And we're back. So we got all the items together so that we can actually go ahead and craft this. So we're going to need the uh, simple uh, machine frame and then the advanced machine frame. So right now we're going to make the, sim or the simple machine one. And that is two plastic, iron, gold, nether bricks, and pity machine frame. And just like that, that's our simple machine frame. Wow. So we'll just go ahead and uh, craft all those up and then we'll move on to the advanced ones and just like that guys we are back and the sim the, we just crafted the simple machine frames now we're going to move on to the advanced machine frames and the advanced machine frames gold are gold ingots diamond gear netherite scrap plastic and simple machine frames which are the things that we just crafted wow look at that guys isn't that and so we'll, beautiful we'll go ahead and craft all these really quick and then we'll move on into the next part and just like that guys we have the advanced machine frames and so with these advanced machine frames we can actually start getting into the stasis chamber and making the wither uh ether ether gas farm and so um with, with that we're going to need the fluid laser base which is another advanced machine frame and two diamond gears with a diamond pickaxe we have everything for that um and then we're going to also need our laser drill. And so with the laser drill, that's just the simple machine frames and that will make us the laser drill. We're gonna need eight of these. And then to get the ether gas, I believe it's a white lens. And so with the white, it's not a white lens, it's a purple lens actually. So we'll need a purple lens. So actually right now we should be able to craft these. We just need to make the white one. So we'll go ahead and craft those on camera and then we'll go ahead and cut until we have everything to make the fluid laser bases. And actually, I don't even think we need the fluid laser base. It might just need be the, so we just need purple dye and glass. Dye. It might just be the um, fluid or the normal laser drill. Okay. And then if you guys come over to the dissolution chamber, 
Whoa. We're going to go ahead and craft that lens. And so with that, that gets us, that's the first step of the way into the laser drill. And so we're actually just going to make both the fluid and the normal laser drill just in case so that we don't have to cut again. So we'll be right back and get, we'll get all that stuff together. And then, yeah, hey guys. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and craft the fluid laser base. And then we're going to go ahead and craft the normal ore laser base. We don't have ores. What do we, what do we need? We're good. Uh, okay. All right, and just like that, I have all the stuff to craft it. Um, so that's the ore laser base, and I had actually crafted the laser drills off camera already, but that's how you craft them. And so that's all the things that we need to set up the ether processing. So then we just need to make this stasis chamber. Okay, now we're actually going to be going back to the nether. And up in this one up here, we're going to go up to this left, this one, yeah. Yep. This one, oh my god, it's so bright. Mine into the top of it. Okay. Oh, oh, why is, it, why is it so bright? It's like getting flashbang. Sorry to all of you that are watching at night. Okay, mine that block there. Okay, and then mine this block down here. Do you need a spare pickaxe? Do you have one, yeah. You can use this, the flux one. Okay, and just to make sure, this stasis chamber, its working area, is exactly what I thought it was. Oh, okay, right above good. this and so now we just need to make sure that the stasis power the stasis chamber gets powered and then we are going to set up the we're not actually going to do that yet i'm just showing you guys what we're going to do to set up this automation so the stasis chamber is going to uh pause the wither right above it or technically it would be uh one block up but it's fine it doesn't matter um and then up here, we're going to take and honestly, I think it's the fluid laser base, but we're going to take and uh, right anti block. We're going to close that off. And then that goes there. And then on all four sides of it, you'll put a laser. Am I stupid? No, I'm not. Okay. No, I think that's good. I'm pretty sure that is. So yeah, these, these laser point thingies have to be pointed towards the center of this. And oh. now that those are, you'll you see the, you should be able to see the particle effects. Uh, yes, this indeed one's... I do. So just like that, that's how that's going to be set up. And then you throw the purple lens in here, and it will once we spawn. Actually, we just need to power this up, and then we can actually just turn it on. We just will have to go grab a wither. Three, two, one. Oh, and here we go, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, we, and we're we back. We fucked up. We forgot to power these. Oh, no. oh um, why is he smiling like that? He's in eternal pain and suffrage. Oh no, I'm in eternal pain. <laughs> oh god, okay, round two. Oh, I can't move, I can't move. Uh, so this should theoretically work. And I believe I it. missed move, pretty move! It, it worked. It worked. Stasis chamber worked. Oh, oh, thank god. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh god. We are going to need speed upgrades in all of these, uh, in all of these laser drills and the middle one. But uh, let's see if it does happen to work. All right, so and it looks like we figured it out, guys. So just like that, guys, that's exactly how we're going to have it set up. It's going to continue getting ether gas. We're actually going to have four of these. So we're going to have one here, one over there, and one over here on those other two white ones. And then in the center one, that's where the Wither Builder and the Mob Crusher come in. And we're going to set up the Wither Killing uh, in that middle one. Though, because of me being sick, I am going to pause where I'm at. And, yeah. Alright, guys, and we're back. And so, yeah. we just set up the Dissolution Chamber. We let a, cup, a little bit of ether gas go into the system. Now we're going to go ahead and craft the supreme machine frame to make the wither builder. Um I don't think you're going to explain. He's not going to explain what happened, guys. He's just going to go with the flow and you guys are going to like it whether you like it or not. So, suck it. Anyways, what did I forget? Plastic? Is that what I forgot? I think you forgot oh, yeah. plastic cuz we're making which frame again? I forgot uh... plastic. And just like that we have the supreme machine frame. And so this is the, what we need to make the wither builder. The wither builder is how we are going to be building the withers obviously. And so we actually have everything to craft that. So we'll just go down here. Go ahead and craft it. And so just like that, that's the wither builder. Yay. And so with this, that's how we're going to automate wither killing. And so we'll grab some. I think Rigo has already crafted some. What is it? What did you need to craft it? 
uh, tinted glass. Uh, uh, yeah, I did not craft enough. Uh, let's see how much we need, actually, or what we need for it. So for tinted glass, for the one that doesn't let the wither kill you, we need coal dust and obsidian dust. Obsidian dust of which I think I had to go through the grueling process of three hours by myself to get this done. So we need a mechanical squeezer with obsidian. Um... And that's actually the reason why I had made the infinite obsidian. So we'll mechanical squeeze some obsidian, which I can do that. And then a uh, coal dust, Brandon, of which you can do. Coal dust you also get through squeezing coal. Isn't that so fun? We get to squeeze so many things. I like squeezing. Yeah, so we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. And we're back. All right, guys. And so we got the tinted glass. And there's just one more thing uh, we need to craft. It's the mob crusher. So this is how we're going to kill the uh, the wither when it spawns from the wither builder. And this is where we're going to go back to the nether. And so we'll go all the way up to the orange sun up here. Don't mind the hole. I, I, I had to go do stuff. Oh, okay. he's, he went and the so we are going to have the wither builder. It places in a three by three above it. So it will place above this block here. So what we can do is we're going to surround it by the tinted glass here and then we're going to surround this side because these withers won't be uh stasis because you can't stasis them when they're um Being if built. you stasis them before they it, or if they're in their their build-up phase it will just freeze them in their build-up phase and so then they won't actually finish their build-up phase and so they can't be at killed so you don't want to stasis them when it's uh when you're trying to kill the withers and th and then pretty much the only other thing and this is something we're going to be doing off camera is setting up the um is setting up our pro setting up a proper like mob farm so we're going to want more wither skeleton skulls and all stuff like that obviously so that we can get plenty of the stuff that we need so pretty much it's almost all, all the way set up. We just need to jump, drop down here, grab some flux points. And then the only other thing that we technically need is to pipe in, we need to pipe in the the power into the wither builder and then the items that need to go into the wither builder. So the wither skulls and the soul sand, but we're not gonna do that on camera. That's just gonna be something we'll do off camera because it's just connecting the system to this so that it will pipe it out automatically. Um, <clears throat> And then this mob crusher will need a range upgrade so that it can work. And it's most it's gonna need a three a, a tier three range upgrade. So that will take we'll we'll come right back when we have everything set up to uh, start this up. All right, guys, and I got the range upgrade. So then we can put that in here. And as you can see, it made the range of the. It's a little hard to see in this room, but it's oh. made it a little bit bigger so that it will cover the area where the uh, the wither will be. Okay. So now the only other thing to do is just set up a bunch of wiring and everything. We're not gonna do any of that on camera. I just wanted to show you guys that this will work. So I'm gonna come down here. Rigo's gonna sit in there. I'm gonna throw this up there, and after it processes it, Whoa! it just breaks everything down. Brandon, a wither just, just spawned. Like, and just like that, a wither spawned, and this tinted glass is wither proof, so this wither should not be able to come out. And this mob crusher, as soon as it killed it, puts it, it kills it, and we get essence and the nether star from it. And it's Whoa. instant almost. And so, as you guys can see, how this would be automated is you just pipe in the wither skulls and the soul sand into the uh the wither builder down there it'll automatically build it and then the mob crusher down uh, right here will kill it automatically and then you just need to pipe the items out of the mob crusher into say another system and just like that guys um that's exactly everything that we wanted to show you in this video so pretty much we went over the most of industrial foregoing uh there's still quite a bit to get into in industrial foregoing but it's mostly going to be quest items now because everything else is just like m most of the stuff that we actually needed from industrial foregoing we already have so yes. that's a little bit nice um and i hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video um i i did i worked really long and i have a montage and everything of this entire uh building process and i think you guys will really really enjoy it and um yeah so I and for those of you wondering why, uh, how you doing didn't speak that much is because um, Brandon had a lot more to say than me in this video, apparently. So, yeah.
for all the for all the for all the Brandon stands out there, there you go. You got to hear your boy toy speak. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, where do you want to do this outro at, Rigo? Uh, we can do it on your platform. As you guys can see, also, I just wanted to point this out. I at, within the day that we were we paused recording, I did make a new skin. This took and us this... two days because he decided to get a head cold. Yeah, I wasn't feeling the greatest. I I died. If you guys he really died. want to know the truth, yeah, he, <laughs> he, he just didn't. He couldn't breathe anymore. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. And as always, tune in for the next video whenever. <laughs> and, for the, and for those of you that want to actually hear my voice, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on post notifications. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye, Bye guys! Check out Brandon! Yeah! Bye, guys! Bye!